so so this is a project based training so lots of you were asking for a project based training uh, but still uh, this uh, training will work well if you know the basic uh, knowledge okay so i suggest go to my channel page and go through um, the basic training please join our channel membership and then you will have access to uh, the basic training revit architecture and the structural videos you can watch you can learn all the tools and concept and you should understand how this works uh, basically uh, modeling a wall door window and how uh, levels are working how grids are working how to duplicate a view and how visibility graphics is working and how to add a view uh, to a sheet and how the scale is working all these things you need to know you need to understand how the links work most of the videos are available for channel members only so please become my channel member and watch the basic video first okay so side by side you can also uh, watch uh, the project based training okay so this is the first project i'm going to record uh, for learning okay so every 20 minute we'll have a cut okay so after 20 minutes uh, you, uh, the another uh, video you can watch okay you take a break uh, every 20 minutes and then watch a new video okay so that's a good learning practice okay so you cannot just keep watching for uh, one hour okay so because it's a learning video okay so we are keeping the time limit to 20 minute max okay thank you so let's go to our project learning so today i have taken a small uh, house four bedroom uh, house okay so we are going to start from the uh, beginning so this is my revit okay let's go one by one so let me show you how to create a, a project folder so i have to create a project folder okay so let's create a project folder so let me create a new folder so one second let's go to file i'm going to create a new file new project and i'm going to create architecture project so because architecture intent is first so once you create architecture then you can plan for structure okay so first is architecture then say okay okay so this architecture plan will be created for uh, rendering and visualization things okay the construction model will be different than the visualization model so that you have to understand so this is a ground floor plus uh, first floor and then we have some terrace area okay so first uh, let's save our file so i'm going to save the file um, let's save the file here so i'm going to create another folder so this is project one okay so this is project one architecture architecture file this is an architecture file okay and then save so you see we have some uh a quick explanation tool active here but this will go once i refresh the view okay now it's gone now what's important let's go to a um, elevation view okay so uh, here i'm going to use uh, uh, feet and fractural inches so let's go to manage and then go for your units okay so this is units you can also use the shortcut un click here and then go for length so let's change it to feet and fractional inches okay so this is the 
uh, smallest value we can go so half inch so that's okay then say okay okay now we, now you can see so this is our floor height so 10 feet we have given actually uh, 10 feet is enough so let's keep 10 feet okay so in india uh, we usually keep 10 feet in, in case if you want to increase you can increase so this is going to be ground level so it's a ground floor or level one you can say or level zero let it be and so we need another level for earth level okay so let's you can select and create similar or you can go to architecture and you can take a level so, okay you can take a level and say this is a road level or a ground level okay so this is ground level you can see this is blue and uh, this is black so you should know what is it so when you are creating a grid you should enable floor plan otherwise it will look like now you can see this is blue okay. in case if you don't understand please watch the basic videos okay um, so okay all right now let's say so this is my ground level let's say the, the level one is is uh, uh, four feet higher than the ground level then it's going to be minus four feet okay and uh, we'll have a road level so that we can uh, define later so we can also take a copy of the level and we can mention road level uh, okay road level is far a uh, road actually the away from the house limit so we can go with the ground level oh that's okay let's go for ground level so this is ground level this is my ground level so before we start anything then we should prepare our uh, site right so for an example let's go to massing and site and define your property limit okay i'm going to create by sketch so this is just a 40 by 60 plot so here i'm going to take uh, 60 this is going to be 40 40 by 60 okay and then uh, we can also create the road for reference just to create similar create by sketch and just uh, draw a line let's say this is uh, 40 feet road or 20 feet road 8 feet road 12 feet road okay this is going to be our road so how much is the distance back? On the road usually it is around um, six feet or ten feet six feet so this is the road and this is our property okay so why do we draw it with the a property line because it will be visible in all the view it will be visible in all the view okay all right now let's pin this just to pin it so that it won't be moved by mistake okay so we have another 10 minutes so let's uh, focus on what's so important okay so this is my level and uh, this is my ground level okay let's create a site go to architecture and then uh, okay so we are creating a site we to go for massing and site topography draw a topography so topo solid create a topo solid create a big topo solid okay 
let's go to view 3d view this is just a rectangle okay now i want to show the road just to show the road the road is straight okay then uh, i also want to have a pit here okay so before we go so deep it's not that important right let's go to 3d and select and say this is asphalt asphalt okay Okay, so after that you have to give okay so this is the ground and this is the road okay let's go to ground level and draw a compound wall okay. 300 mm a concrete uh, wall will work and we have to keep exterior finish face because we don't want to disturb the neighbors Okay, just to go to view, 3D view. Okay, this is my plot. So from ground, I'm going around uh, six, uh, four feet or six feet lower. Six feet, four feet lower. And uh, from ground level, it's going to be three feet higher. Okay. And uh, so this is a... 10 feet ground okay I'll tell you why I'm giving 10 feet and then go for uh, the footing structure wall footing give a retaining wall footing and toe length and heel length can we give zero yes length going to be one say okay i'm going to show you here This is retaining wall. Let's take a section. I'm focusing on a, on a structure now. Okay. Give me a minute. Foundation thickness, heel length, toe length, and uh, It's not supposed to have a one feet. Edit type. Feel is zero. But still we have something. Let's give one inch. Say okay. Yeah, now it works. So we need a minimum. So this is going to be on my compound wall okay so now i'm going to design uh, my floor before i go i have to finish my exterior wall that's very important okay so now so this is done this is my concrete wall uh, the this is the fence right let's go for a wall uh, two 
thirty, two thirty, or two hundred, two hundred mm wall. Two fifty, work work. And I'm going to start drawing the exterior wall. Just roughly draw the exterior wall. Okay. Let's say this is going to be the outer boundary of the building. Okay, so from here. It is four feet. So this is going to be three feet. So this will be five space three, five feet three inches. Then uh, the interior distance is going to be ten feet. And this side it's going to be okay. There is another bend, okay. Right, so this is going to be from here, okay. So this might be. Okay, this is going to be in sixteen feet if I reduce six feet. Sixteen feet. Let's draw another wall for sixteen feet. Okay. So from here it is six feet. And this is going to be ten feet. All right. So now this is the exterior elevation, and finally this will be three three feet each. So this is our exterior of the building. Okay, so this is very important okay so let's keep it till ground level and from ground level it is um, four feet down now yes minus four feet minus four So now I'm going to close this outer edge with the structural floor. You should know why I take a structural floor. Okay, so let's go to edit type, duplicate. It's just going to be 100 mm or half feet, six inch. So let's tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it, and it's going to be just a structure because we are going to create this for architecture visualization, right? Six inches. And say okay, okay. Let's create a floor to the outer edge of the wall. Okay, so this is for architecture visualization, right? So we are supposed to create this within the wall. Why? Because if I create to the outer edge, then that six inch belt is going to be visible from outside. So that's why 
we have to create inside oh that's going to be four feet higher than the ground level to view 3d view and this is the base so from here we are going to develop our building okay so let's bring this outer wall to first floor ground floor to first floor okay all right this is going to be till first floor ground floor from four feet to first floor So now, important thing is there is a car park yeah, just before a portico. Okay, at the portico we have a car park, then the entry door, then we have sit out, and then blah blah blah. Okay, so that's going to come. Uh, so here, uh, an important thing we need to understand is, okay, so till level one, we have the wall, then the first floor also going to come. So we need a roof. Let's go to architecture grid. Sorry, level and just to draw a level, another level. Call that as a roof level. Roof level. And the rooftop also we need another level, right? Roof. yeah we need oh, we need these many levels okay so it's already 20 minutes so i'm going to stop this here then we'll start in a new video okay thank you bye bye